It smells so amazing in here. This dish is going to make you eat all those greens. Hey guys, it's Richa here. Have you ever wondered why some similar recipes when made without any meat have just a few spices while when there's meat involved there are like 1500 spices in the same dish? So for example, there's plain sag which has just some greens but then it's spiced with just cumin seeds, garlic and red chili. But then there's chicken sag which also has lots of greens but then there are 1500 spices in it. I mean, no wonder everybody wants to make the chicken sag. So we're gonna take all of that flavor from the chicken sag and put it in our aloo sag, which is potato and greens, and that's what we're making today. The plain sag is also super delicious. It's home style and it celebrates the greens rather than celebrating the meat. And that's why it's made with a fewer spices to highlight all of that flavor. Also because the meat and the chicken needs a lot more flavor compared to the vegetable because, you know, it'll otherwise be bland. So for the alu sag today, we're gonna toss the potatoes in some ground spices and then bake them. That'll give them that nice crisp and crunch. And then make the spinach sauce with lots of whole spices and all of that delicious flavor. The key here is to simmer all of those spices with the spinach. So the spinach is not going to be bright green. The key is to get all of that flavor in this alu sag. So let's make it. So these are some peeled and cubed potatoes. Just toss the potatoes in some oil first so that all the spices can stick to the potatoes and the potatoes don't stick to the pan and this is some garam masala garlic powder kashmiri chili powder you can use paprika if you like some salt and some turmeric mix these up really really well to coat the spices evenly you can also use a parchment lined baking sheet if you don't want all of the mess and use less oil and bake it at 400 degrees fahrenheit for the sauce we'll toast some cumin seeds first and some hot oil you can dry toast them if you don't want to use oil. Make sure to toast them long enough so that they change color significantly and are very, very fragrant. It will take a bit, at least a minute or two. We're just lightly starting to change color, but there's still some ways to go. And they're starting to get fragrant too. The key to making really delicious Indian food is patience. If anything is done roasting, roast some more. The same thing applies to onion and other aromatics and the tomatoes and whatnot. They're pretty evenly browned. We can add the other whole spices. Open up the black and the green cardamom pods so that some of the seeds can come out and that will add a lot more flavor. Toast the cardamoms, the cloves and the red chili for about half a minute until the green cardamom starts to get golden and all of the spices are fragrant. Then add in all of the chopped onion and a pinch of salt. We'll saute the onion for about seven to eight minutes until they're golden. Add in a little bit of water or broth to help the onions brown evenly. If you can see any white onion, that means they're not done. You wanna continue cooking them. Keep sauteing them until they are evenly golden and getting brown in some spots. Then add in the ground spices, that's garam masala, ground coriander, fenugreek leaves, that will give the sag that authentic sag flavor. Some salt, uh, optional pepper flakes. Mix that in, uh, add in your ginger garlic paste. If you're using minced ginger and garlic, you'll need to saute a bit longer for another minute or so. The ginger garlic paste will cook down much quicker. Once the ginger garlic paste is nicely roasted, you can add in your spinach and the yogurt. Add in the water and let the spinach cook down for about 10 minutes or so before you fold in the potatoes. I personally like to serve it with the potatoes on the sag so that the potatoes stay crisp and delicious. If you want to make this creamier, add some coconut milk or cashew milk or any other non-dairy milk and simmer with the spinach in the end. It smells so amazing in here. This dish is going to make you eat all those greens. You can add in some chickpeas with the potatoes to make it into a complete meal or serve it with a simple chickpea curry or a dal and some naan or flatbread or rice or some quinoa. If you like this recipe, then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like and share this video. Have you ever... <laughs> <laughs>